removing flyaway hair from an image is sometimes time consuming and uh, frustrating especially if you have a lot a lot of image to retouch in this video i'll be showing you two easy steps on how you can remove straight hair or fly away hair like these ones right here from your image hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is tunde victor um this image was actually taken by my friend i'll leave his um instagram handle in the description below he's a good photographer you guys go check him out so the first um method i'll use right now i'll be using the normal brush tool to remove the fly away hair and first um first i'm going to duplicate my layer by pressing ctrl j and then um, uh, add a new layer a new empty layer i'm just going to create a new layer right here and um the next thing i'll do i'll pick my brush my normal brush and um make sure your settings are set correctly i'm using a soft one brush and uh, my hardness is on zero you can change the size depending on the area you want to edit so my mode is on normal my opacity is on 100 my flow is on 100 and my smoothing is on 100 so i'm going to pick my white i'm going to change it to white so i'm using a white brush not black you can switch here or by pressing the x or your keyboard to switch so i'm going to be using a white brush so what i'm going to do i'm going to sample by pressing alternate to sample a color that's close to where i want to brush so make sure you are sampling from a place close to where you are going to brush so i'm sampling from here because it's close to where i want to brush so i'm just going to reduce my brush size and paint over this right now as you can see it's working fine and easy and very fast okay let's say i pick a color from here let's say i pick a color from here i sample from here and i brush over here that is here and you can see the colors are changing you can see the before and after the colors are changing so that's why i said you should pick a color close to the place you are working on so i'm just going to delete this layer now and start off white again so i'm going to create a new layer and start again so like i said sample from a place that is very close to where you want to remove so i'm sampling from here because it's close to where i want to remove so i'm just going to do that right now this this method is really fast uh it's a not destructive method because if you feel you make a mistake you can always delete the layer that's why i'm doing it on a new layer on a new layer and not the bagad layer because you are you can always delete the layer and make sure you are always sampling from a close by area as you can see i'm pressing my alternate if you want to sample hold alternate and click from an area that's close to where you want to remove the hair from and brush over it so make sure you are always sampling from a close by area so i'm just going to do this for all the stray hair or all the flyer over here you can always reduce your brush if you want to work on a smaller place so you can reduce your brush size if you are working on a smaller place this method is really fast and it's a not destructive method so that's going just going to run this over the whole image This method is pretty easy. So that's what you are going to do throughout the whole image. Remember, the most important thing is for you to sample from a close by area and just brush over. And to sample, hold your alternate and brush. Hold your alternate and brush. Hold your alternate and brush. That's the most important thing you need to know. And always reduce your brush size depending on the area you are working on. Okay. Now, 
let's see our uh, before and after I think there's some there's a few here let's remove this okay now let's see our uh, before and after this is our before you can see the hair is true hair and this is our after also let's come to this other side this is our before and this is our after you can see those three are gone the second method i'll be using for this image is the close down tool so i'm just going to turn this on turn this off and um create a new empty layer right here and um switch to my close down tool and uh, these are my settings I'm using uh, my hardness is on zero, my mood is on normal, my opacity is on 100, my flow is on 100. I clicked on align and um, I'm using um, current. I'm going to use current and below. So I'm going to use current and below. My sample is on current and below. So I'm just going to zoom in this image right now. And um, I'm going to hold my alternate. Hold my alternate and um sample from a close by area make sure you are sampling from a place that is really close to where you want to brush so i'm going to sample from this close by area by holding my alternate and clicking on it so i'm just going to remove my, remove my hand from alternate and brush over so i'm going to do that like that make sure you are always clicking on alternate from a close by area so that's pretty much what we are going to be doing just like the way we use the brush too we are going to use the alternate this consumes a lot of time but uh, I'm going to show you why I use this close down tool instead of the brush tool in a bit so I'm just going to do this around the fly away here remember always hold your alternator and brush once you brush once hold, sample again once you brush once once you sample you brush once you brush you sample again like that make sure you are always sampling and brushing after brushing sample again after brushing sample again if you just sample once i keep brushing you are going to get something like this as you can see it's not working anymore so make sure you are always sampling and brushing sampling and brushing sampling and brushing so we are going to do this for the whole image but i think i'm going to skip it because this is going to consume our time and i don't i don't want this video to be long so i'm going to let's see how before and after before i forward it this is where we started from this is where we are right now you can see it's working this is where we started from this is where we are right now so i'm just going to forward it okay so we are done and um this is our before and this is our after using the close time tool these are before these are after these are before and these are after I'm just going to remove this those hair on her face by using the close thumb tool. You can use the healing brush too, but I prefer using the close thumb tool. So I'm just going to sample from a close by and paint. Sample from a close by and paint like that. Sample from a close by and paint. Sample from a close by and paint. So I'm just going to do that for the hair on her face anywhere there is hair on her face or her skin i'm going to do that you can also use the healing brush too i think the healing brush too is faster so let's just switch to the healing brush too right now this is the healing brush too right now i'll switch to it so i'm just going to paint over just going to sample all layer please make sure your sample all layer is checked so i'm just going to paint over like that Yes. Just going to paint over. But it was, the reason why I don't like using Hilly Brush too, you can see it's leaving a line. You can see these lines leaving. 
like a line so that's why i don't use um the healy brush too but it works for some image it works sometimes but i prefer using the close stamp tool i'll switch back to my close stamp tool and just paint so i prefer using the close stamp tool because it's makes it doesn't leave any line it makes it looks realistic so i'm going to use my close stamp tool i just sample and brush as you can see it's not leaving any, any line So in case you are, you are using the um, spotly brush tool and you are seeing some lines, just switch your tool, use the close thumb tool. So just hold alternate and uh, sample and brush. Hold alternate, sample and brush. It's as easy as that. Hold alternate, sample and brush. Hold alternate, sample and brush. Hold alternate, sample and brush. Like that. So for some place, so for some place, I'm going to be using my spot healing brush tool. So I switch back to my spot healing brush tool. I'm just going to brush this place with my spot healing brush tool. As you can see, it it works perfectly on that place. But just in case you are seeing lines in some place, make sure you use close stamp tool. So I think um I was seeing some string. Okay, but I'm just going to remove the hair right here. Let's see if the um spot healing brush is going to work for this one okay it works it works so we're going to use the spot healing brush tool to just remove these ones here this is not obvious and okay i think i'm seeing those lines so i'll switch back to my close down tool again and just sample and paint sample and paint sample This is how you remove stray hair or fly over hair from um, your image. So let's see our uh, before and after. This is where we started from with the close thumb tool, our uh, before. This is where we are, our uh, before and after. Then you can see the hair on our face, on our cheek, it's no longer there. We use the close thumb tool and the spotting brush to remove the hair on our face. You can see the before and the after then we do the same thing for the hair here you can see the before and the after so that's how you remove fly over hair from your image if you like this video please um subscribe um also if there's if there are any other tools that you use to remove your hair please let me know in the comment section and um also let me know um the kind of video you want me to do next and um i'll do it for you guys see you guys in my next video